let us solve this using two methods method one so i would like you to watch to the end and see how we use two methods to solve this it's really interesting okay we are going to introduce log straight from here so we are going to have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 7 to the power of x plus 2. now i'm going to bring down this uh, powers why because according to the law of log reading log a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a okay so we are going to apply that law here and if we do that we'll have x multiplied by log 3 is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by log 7 okay all right now we are going to expand this yes so to do that we have x multiplied by log 3 is equal to log 7 times x will give us x log 7 plus log 7 times 2 will give us 2 log 7. all right now let's collect like terms if we collect like terms we have x log 3 minus x log 7 that is i brought this to the other side and by doing that i introduce minus because this is plus x log 7 all right is equal to 2 log 7 okay now let's factorize x out since you are looking for the value of x so you have x bracket log 3 minus log 7 is equal to 2 log 7 okay I would like you to watch the end and tell me which of these methods do you prefer, okay? All right. Now, to get the value of x, let's divide. So we are going to divide this side by log 3 minus log 7, okay? And we are also going to divide this side by log 3 minus log 7. So this is going to cancel this, all right? And we have that x is equal to... 2 log 7 divided by log 3 minus log 7. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscription button and, on, and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And if you have not given this video a thumbs up and you're actually enjoying it, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up because it helps the algorithm to push our videos more. And we also upload videos twice daily. Yes. So always tune in to check the new uploads. Thank you. Now, this is the first method. Now, let's go to the second method. Okay. Now, second method is this. For the second method, we are going to apply law of indices or exponent first. So we have 3 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of x multiplied by 7 to the power of 2. So we have 3 to the power of x divided by 7 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of x multiplied by 7 to the power of 2 divided by 7 to the power of x. Yes, I'm doing that because I want to bring everything with x on one side so that I can easily find my x, okay? So this is going to divide this. So when you have the same power, on a base, you can actually bring this and this together. So we can write 3 over 7 raised to the power of x is equal to 7 squared. Okay? All right. Now, it's time to introduce our log reading. Yes. So we now have that log 3 over 7 to the power of x is equal to log 7 squared. Then this will come down just like I explained in the other one. So we are going to have x multiplied by log 3 over 7, okay, is equal to 2 multiplied by log 7. Now we are going to divide through by this since we are looking for x, right? So divided by log 3 divided by 7, divided by log 3 divided by 7. So this is going to divide this and we have that x is equal to 2 log 7 divided by now this is division when you have a number being divided by the other you can express it as log 3 minus log 
seven. So you notice that we still got the same value. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've not done that, and have a lovely day.